Hey everybody, it's Steve Lennon and today I want to talk to you about a very common question that's asked to me and that's what's APR and, uh, in the mortgage business. Well, APR is annual percentage rate and that's a cost of money over time. And uh, we basically all pay it when we get a mortgage, an institutional style mortgage or uh, with the, the banks. And the banks actually have to disclose what that actual cost is over time. So let me give you an example. There's three boxes in, in uh, when you sign your loan documents. There's three boxes that you'll look at. The first box is the actual principal amount that you're borrowing. The second box you're going to see is the actual interest that you pay over that timeline of the amortization schedule. So if you have a 15-year mortgage, there will be 15 years amortized. If it's 30 years, there will be 30 years or 360 months okay, of amortization. Now what the lenders do is they actually take whatever that cost of money is on a monthly basis based on your interest rate and they run a principal and interest calculation and they determine every 12-month cycle what that cost of money will be over that 12-month cycle and they call that the APR, annual percentage rate. So you'll have the three boxes. You have the first box which is the principal balance. You have the second box which is the cost of money over time. And the third box will be the first box plus the second box which is the actual total cost of that money over the 30 years based on your interest rate. Now you always have to take into account that the average person has a loan for seven years. So you're not actually paying all that money over time. Plus you have to look at other factors such as your principal, uh, your, uh, your property gaining in equity over the years. So if, you're, if you bought it for 100000 in in 30 years, it's worth 400000 and you paid interest on it, well, you're actually at a gain because the, the offset of the equity, equity gain of that property and what it's, accre what it's accrued over time in equity will basically offset that. Plus, you also get your tax write-off. So, in you know, in normal circumstances, so um, these are the factors that uh, calculate the APR, and then the banks basically have to disclose that information to you um, when you sign your loan doc. So, that now you know how the APR works. If you ever want to talk to me about getting a loan, please give me a call, uh, and I'll get you set up with one of my lenders. Uh, I no longer do the mortgage business. I stopped as of last year after 25 years. I just focus on the mortgage stuff, but because I did it for 25 years, I have the skill sets to educate it to you, to give you the education. Um, so, but if you want to buy a house or you want to sell your house, I'd love to talk to you. I'm in the Southern California area. You can uh, check me out at stevelinen.com. That's S-T-E-V-E-L-I-N-N-I-N.com. And, uh, you know, just give me a call. I'd love to talk to you. So, have a great day. Hopefully this is inf informational to you, and uh, we'll go from there. Take care.